been a while since I posted anything. So I'm working on this little 130 millimeter Lanchion quad from Banggood. A mix of parts from within the states and in Banggood. Um, utilizing four DYS 1306 motors and Nays out of here. This is a 4 in 1 12 amp full BL Heli one shot with active dampening um, already activated ESC. It's a quad ESC from Ready Made RC. Um, and I actually had printed off the, I needed to see the layout and the wiring. This is all from Ready Made RC. Um, <clears throat> what I did was I mounted it upside down so I could directly route the motor wires in, curve them in, and hit the hit the uh, wiring pads. Just removed the, the factory wiring and landed these to it. And then the nays just fits right over that. When you're wiring this and mounting it, everything is very tight on this ESC. It's a great unit, but be cautious when you're wiring to the pads. You don't want to hit the FETs that are next to it. Also, when you're using your standoffs, I just took an X-Acto blade on the tabletop before using the, the uh, standoffs, and I nipped the corners off of all my standoffs so they wouldn't hit any of the electronics, because the electronics do go very close to the edges of the board. But then we're using a Rev6 and these 32 Just landed the command wires to the uh, servo or to the motor output and then um, it does have a 5 volt BEC on that quad ESC so that provides your 5 volt for the nays and now this is a great little thing that I'm trying out everyone is familiar with the FR Sky uh, 4 channel that also does uh, S bus well I'm trying out the Corona R4 R4FA S bus Remove the case, and I'll tell that tell you why in a second. To remove the case, just slid it off. This is some 14 millimeter heat shrink from Hobby King. Cut out to miss the setting button when you when you link it, and when you change from regular mode to SBUS mode, and a little cutout for the LED. And then this is just obviously a piece of servo wire that I soldered to the. Um, position 4, channel 4 servo outputs. I did have to remove the pins from the end of that to free up the space. And then on the nays for SBUS, you just hit, and there's plenty of great tutorials, that's how I found all this on YouTube, thank you for everybody who's put that up. You just hit your pos or negative, positive, and then terminal 4 is your SBUS input. I don't have anything else connected to the nays. The, really, the side soldering was done lickety split. Uh, this unit about three years ago, if you search this unit on the web, you'll find people had problems getting it to work two, three years ago. I had zero issues. Everything, it linked within a second, either using the fast uh, seven channel mode on my 14SG or the fast test multi mode, multi channel on, on the 14SG. It just followed the directions and uh, you know, within a second it linked. And then with the radio off, this will, and you power it back up through the standard motor voltage um, plug that powers the ESC, which, you know, then you get your 5 volts. This will blink red, and from the factory it will blink slow red, which means it's in normal mode. While it's in the red, press this button for 5 seconds, release it, it starts blinking green and red, press it again real quick, and it'll break, you'll see it blink faster red, which means it's in special mode. And... It, it's, it's immediately in S-Bus mode. It was working great. Now, the crazy thing was, I was hooked into my Clean Flight software, and I am, whoop, there we go, I'm a uh, ground control station guy. I was always in CC3D, so I'm new to Naze. But, um, you can see the board is coming up. Everything works fine. I had a heck of a time Going to port, and you activate the serial receiver. It wouldn't stay activated. Um, you go from the serial, 
activate server receiver and then configuration scroll down oops I went too far and there's RX serial and SBUS you're supposed to click those three things on the UART on the first page and then that and then hit save and reboot I have no idea on the bottom right here save and reboot I have no idea how many times I did that and it wouldn't take and wouldn't take and I was getting frustrated and finally I kept looking up different tutorials that all said the same thing and all of a sudden it worked it stuck and it worked um, I don't know why I wish I had a better explanation but stick with it and it'll it'll take eventually um, I did try this receiver like I said I did try it in um, the 14 channel mode and in the 7 channel mode under S bus and everything worked in clean flight it registered all the controls on my 14 you know standard flight controls uh, three-way uh, mode switch and then using a positive arming switch and I've got a dial on the front that I pro that I've set in in case I want to do any active uh, PID gains on that so the wiring is extremely simple using S bus to the nays to the four and one for these micro quads I think that's that's just such a cleaner uh, install than having ESCs that you have to do the reach around to try and wire in circles and then solder it together with a small PDB uh, I think this is going to end up being lighter the reason I had to take this case off is the unit comes with 20 millimeter standoffs it's a, it's a little bit about the chassis it's a two millimeter base plate one and a half millimeter top plate and it comes with a good arrangement of hardware, plenty um, five five uh, standoffs, uh, one obviously one extra, five um, top plate standoffs, obviously one extra. But these are only 20 millimeters. It's awful tight in between your flight controller and the top deck. Um, what I ended up doing was, Buddy RC is a great provider here in Ohio, and they ship very fast. So I ordered a set of 30 millimeter standoffs just to see if I wanted to try it um, and that would have worked but I really just got a Jones to pull the case and see what would happen so I'm gonna try the standard the, with the case removed you can use the standard 20 millimeter standoffs I'm sorry 20 millimeter standoffs you don't have to buy the extra standoffs so that's where we are now um, everything's been tested motors were set all my rotations are correct all I have to do is get the receiver mounted and start flying it and um, start tu tuning PIDs. I set mine up because I wanted a clean bottom and to mount the battery on top. If you were going to sling the battery on the bottom, as is traditional, a lot of people do, you could just mount your receiver on the top. It's not, not an issue and your video transmitter, all that on the top. I just, I really wanted a clean bottom plate. So that's why I was a stickler for removing this case this incidentally the Corona R4 FASB dimensions are virtually exactly the same as the FR Sky unit and I'm not knocking FR Sky I, I have quite a few of their receivers I like their quality stuff but so enough about that I will get this thing tuned and we'll get some flight video